the uh, what it was kind of saying was saying. What? Uh, let's start from one. Forty-five. Isaiah forty-five and one. Let's save the Lord to His anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holding, to subdue nations before Him, and will lose. Loose the loins of kings. Cyrus was a king of uh, Persia, right? Persia. Of Persia, yeah. Okay, so we did again, brother? Thus saith the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have hold to subdue nations before him. I will loose the loins of, of kings to open before him to leave gates, and the gates shall not be shut. Now, you know that's... Now, brother, give me... um. Was it First Samuel was it two and six? I raise up uh, kings because they can. Right. You know, was it was it up there? Two, two, two. Is it two and six? First Samuel two and six. Oh, the most high. Not that one. Yeah, the same one. Yeah. Kill him. Cut. Yeah. 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 This is our First Samuel two and six. The Lord killeth and make him alive. He bringeth down to the grave and he bringeth up. Bring it down to the grave and he's free. Keep going. There's more. It says, The Lord, the Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. Okay, there's another scripture where the Lord says he bringeth up one kingdom and he taketh another one down. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of Daniel's seven. He raised up the base of men in 417. 417. Maybe I'm thinking of that. Because basically, I, um, in that first verse there, basically he's telling Cyrus, you see, he's saying, look, I'm going to give you the power to take down these other nations. Okay? Reread again, verse 1. Is that it? Yes. Okay, hold, hold it. Read that from 45 again. Isaiah 45 and 1. Thus saith the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holding to subdue nations before him. Right, so the Most High, Cyrus was um, the king of Persia. The Most High gave him the power to take down, at that time he was a king, the king, because the Most High gave him the power to take down other nations. Showing you that the Most High, he makes whatever, whoever he wants to be a king. You know, so if he wants one king to rule, he'll give him the power, he'll make the other nations weak so that, that the, king, the king of the nation he wants to rule could be made strong and overtake them. So he'll make the other nations weak, okay? So basically the Mosai controls everything. Who become the next ruler, he controls them. Who's the one that lost their power, they're, they're being controlled. So basically the Mosai is, is a prophecy of the King Cyrus that look, I'm gonna give you the power to take down the other nations around you. You see, and this is a precept here in Daniel, read that. Right, it says, this is Daniel's 4 and 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers, the, which the watchers are us, okay. and the demand by the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. The Most High rules in the kingdom of men. And he giveth it to whomsoever he will. He gives a rulership to whomever he wills. And setteth up over it the basis of men. And set up the, over it the basis of men. Okay, the lowest of the low. Okay, this is Sirach 10 and 14. The Lord hath cast down the thrones of proud princes and set up the meek in their stead. And the Lord hath plucked up the roots of the proud nations and planted the lowly in their place. Uh, all right, so that's it. So read it from the top again. Let's yeah, say Salakia. Go ahead, my brother. Now, we get scripture again, please. Sirach right. so 10 and 14. The Lord hath cast down the thrones of proud princes and set up the meek in their stead. Yeah, just like when you go into uh, the uh, book of Daniel, it tells you about the Babylonians. They were like the first great empire on the earth. Right? This represents the what? The head of gold. Right? Yeah, there you go, right here. Right here. So like, yeah, yeah, it's like you got the Babylonians, man. They were like one of the first great mighty empires on the earth, all right? That's the head of gold, right? That it speaks about in the book of Daniel, right? And then you have the silver, which are what? The Persians and the uh, medial Persian Empire, all right? Now the reason why they were uh, as silver, not as gold, like the Babylonian Empire, because the Babylonian had more riches, okay? 
they didn't have as much riches as the Babylonians. So they represent silk, you know, gold is all the silk, right? And then you have what? You have the, the Grecian Empire, the Macedonian, uh, Alexander the Greek. He took down the Medio Persian Empire, okay? And then from there, it represents the brass, right? But you got you got the gold, which is the Babylonians. You got the silver, which is the Medo Persian Empire. And the Persians wind up being over. They wind up getting over because they were once together. The Medes are what you would call the Japhetic people in the scriptures, which are like the Hawaiians, the Polynesians, the Samoans. But the Persians, you would, today, you would call them the East Indians. Okay. Those are the Persians. You know the East Indians? Like, uh, huh? Iran. Yeah, 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 right. Like the Iranians over there in India. You know what I'm saying? That would be the Persian Empire. Then from the Persian Empire, you got the so-called white man. That's when he came into power. All right? That's when Esau first came into, that's when the so-called white man first came into power as a great nation. And of course, you know Alexander the Greek, he took over the known world. Not the world, not the whole entire world, because they didn't, nobody was over on this side, all right? But the known world over there in the Middle East and over there and in Europe, all right? That was known as the known world at that, at, at that time. And then from there, you got the iron, all right? Which represents what? It represents the Roman Empire, which are the Romans, okay? Which we in a part of what? the rebirth of the Roman Empire right now. And then, because why did it says iron about the Roman Empire? Hey, brother, give me that scripture in Daniels, man, where it breaks it down, brother. All right? All right? And then, you have what? Now, why was the Romans known as iron? And give me the one in the Apocrypha also, too. Now, iron is because, why was the Romans represent as iron? Because how did they get their 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 uh, rulership over the whole earth through their arms? All right, through war. That's how the Romans were. Everything was warlike with the Roman Empire. All right, and then you got the iron mixed with the clay, the miry clay, which that's in the scriptures also. That represents right here the rebirth of the Roman Empire, America. All right, but it's weakened. That's why it's mixed with the clay. And then it tells you how that stone. <laughs> came with that, that statue that Daniel saw, he had that vision of this, and that stone broke the feet right here with the iron and miry clay, broke the feet and brought, and all these empires fell, and that stone represents Yahweh Shah. Okay, so yo, brother, get it. Yeah, read it, read it. Right. This is Daniel's 2, verse uh, 32. Right. The image's head was a fine gold. His all right, wait a minute. Read up a little bit. Uh, let me, uh, where it starts. Yeah, yeah. I made the last one. Ah, uh, yeah, division, whatever. But don't worry about it, brother. Just go into it. Uh, it says, I'll start at 31. Says, yeah, yeah, go ahead. It says, Daniels 2 and 31. Thou, O king, sawest and behold a great image. Right. Right, thou, king, sawest and behold a great image. Right? Go ahead, because the king wanted to, to, to get the understanding of what of the vision that he saw, the dream that he had. So Daniel's gonna break it down to him. That's why the, the uh, elder was bringing about the watchmen, man. That, that's what the watchmen are out here to do, to break down these scriptures, man. All right, to give the elect of Israel